To my beautiful and amazing royals of Africa, Mbolo. Bolwani, my people, this is your queen, Queen Ningonda II, 17th generation crown queen of the Fang people and of the diasporan Africans, also known as the Immortals. My dear children, welcome to part two of healing the African diaspora. Okay? So today we will talk about the soldier children. All right? Who are the soldier children? So, before I get into today's topic, I want to first of all welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Nubia, the path to return, the home of the African royals, okay? Only royalties around. <laughs> no, no crazies. <laughs> all right, so I'm your host, the Queen Ingon II. If you like my vibe, stick around. I promise you, you will learn something. All right. Now to my amazing, beautiful, handsome and gorgeous royals of Africa. Welcome back. All right, my children, before I get into it, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the love you've been showing to your queen. All right. Your messages, they, they get to me right there. All right. I can read people's energy, I can feel it. So when some of you say, my queen, I love you, I feel it all the way here, all right? So, Ubuntu, all the way. Now, before I get into today's topic, I would like to reply to uh, the email of one of our daughter, one of our royals out there, Princess, Princess Rachel, all right? Princess Rachel sent uh, an email uh, basically telling her telling us that she's so confused as to what to do so well basically Princess Rachel email uh, was basically uh, letting us know that she's confused she doesn't know what to do uh, she's raised in church and then she also you know been around some Israelite who tell her that they shouldn't uh, honor the ancestors, acknowledge the ancestors, worship the ancestors for uh, the Torah goes against it. Should I start reading the Torah? Should I take everything in the Bible as the word of the Lord? Should I abandon my Yoruba culture and stop worshiping my ancestors as some say we should not be doing it? And then she said there are some Igbos that follow the Torah and uh, there are some who don't the yoruba follow the torah as well as worship their ancestors yes absolutely before we go any further i would like our beautiful children out there to be aware or mindful of the following our elders tells us that the connection to one's ancestors is a primordial element to ensure a successful life on earth as a man or as a woman. Just like I said in a previous video, your blessings, your guidance, your protection are not attached to foreign egregores or foreign God. This is what our elders tells us that, you know, in any warfare, they will try to take over that group of people's spirituality because in most people's spirituality, we know and trust that the ancestors, those who came before us, you know, would know who our true God is. 
and if we try to connect to our God through them, it's for sure they will take us to our rightful source. Okay, not the source taught by the colonizer and so on. So you have to understand that, you know, spirituality is the first power they took from us. And another thing, even in today's Africa, you can clearly see the big difference between the countries that are rather traditional in their beliefs, in their spirituality, versus the countries where Christianity has populated over the places. You will see, like for example, a country in West Africa is Benin Republic. All right, they're very traditional. They're the custodian of the voodoo secrets. So you see, so over there, the president declared that the Vodou is now the national, uh, the national uh, religion. What does it mean? It means that the marriages, uh, the funeral proceedings and everything will be done per the Vodou tradition. Because that's what they know, they're the people of the Vodou. So, and you will see that in those countries, like for example, Benin Republic doesn't have, you know, natural resources as we know Africa to be like oil, gold, and all these things, manganese. And do you know what they survive from? Fishing and tourism. So, you know, but and yet they're very traditional in their ways. And guess what? People live better in a country like Benin where you will find all of them own a home okay and they have you know their businesses flourish and they, they're able to send all their children to school and everything and have a normal life compared to countries where christianity has taken over there is a church in every corner but and yet they're sitting on a super super rich land but and yet the people are so poor so there's no comparison. You can clearly tell countries like Botswana, countries like uh, Zimbabwe, you know, these countries are very like, they don't play with their spirituality. Whatever came out is just to be added to what they already were sitting on. And they're very protective of their culture, of their spirituality. And rightfully so. We can clearly establish that even in modern Africa, the countries where the rights of the ancestors are performed, are prosperous and these countries are protected also you know nothing really really crazy go down over there without them overcoming it you see what i mean so okay she asked about the torah now who wrote the torah the today known as jews okay i just want my children out there to use common sense such book that come from such group of people as we know them today all right, would you trust that that book was written with you in mind? The one being kicked to the curb for somebody else to sit on your throne? It's just a judgment. Yes, whether it's the Bible, whether it's the Quran, whether it's the Torah, these books have some of the original uh, scroll. We, we the Bantu, we, we the custodian, uh, the Congo Kingdom, we the custodian of the original scroll. You heard about scroll scrolls being found in caves in Israel. That was nonsense. The scrolls that they found in, they found us in possession, yeah, they were in, in caves because that's where the royals were hiding, okay? So they found them, we knew God. We knew God before they came. So they can't teach us anything, but of course, currently we don't really have any publication out there. We can just come and tell you that those of us who have access to the oral narration of the history of our people from the beginning from man number one until contemporary and so on you know those who have access to it of course with time we're gonna have our own books out there the bible has a good chunk of the original scroll but a lot was admitted somebody asked a question where is the name zambe in the bible well, the name of Zambe appeared in the Bible in the, in the book of Enoch that was conveniently removed. So bef between the, the removal, the modification, the addition text that, okay, we, you shouldn't moan when somebody slap you, you turn the other cheek. Tatan Zambe never told us that. 
Tatan Zambe told us that vengeance is his, justice is his, that we have access to divine justice. When somebody, when somebody wrong us, we have the right to go before Tatan Zambe, especially when we feel that we will not get justice in the court of man. We have access to divine justice. We can go to him and say, Tata, they did me wrong. Be the judge, you know. Bring justice into it. We have the right, but what did they put in there, you know, to make us good slaves? Don't ask for justice or revenge or, or anything. You just have to take it. You are to be my slave, and your happy and ever after will start when you die in heaven. And we, of course, we were beaten, we were conquered, so we consume it. And we brought up children and taught them how to consume that. But in this time of our awakening, okay, this is scheduled to happen. The kingdom of the Most High will rise just as he planned. And it's through the house of Yehuda, the one they call Jesus, okay? Yehuda, Yahudi, okay? So he is through him. So do you think that a Messiah will rise from nowhere and come and become? No. You know, our elders tells us that we are the body of Yaoundi. We are the body of Christ, the descendant of the 12 kingdoms. We are the one who will bring his kingdom back on earth, the kingdom of the Most High. Okay? So should you read the Torah? Just like I would uh, answer to those of our children who are Muslim, who are Christian, keep in mind that these books were written with them keeping you a slave. Because the rivalry has always been the world against the house of Yakuba. So you are the house of Yakuba that they brought down. So with those books, they were able to keep us down as slaves would not dare pray asking for justice against their master. It only prolonged the reign of the masters over them. It was because of this book, something that should have taken a few years, took centuries because of these books. I will say, no, me personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell our children. I'm like, uh-uh, go back to the way of your ancestors. Find out who your ancestors were and how did they used to connect to Tatan Zambe. Go back to that route. Yes, the scripture is there. We... Everything the Bible talks about, the do's, the don'ts, and stuff. Why are people so bad Christian? Because those, the same people who introduced them to Christianity were the most cruel people around them. So, of course, they embrace that, rela that religion with not a level of seriousness. It starts from the top, and they put themselves in the top, and they turn out to be such horrible Christians. And now a lot of them are going to the, oh, the new age. They even left us in, in their churches. Now we don't want becoming militant. No, don't do that. In the Bible, keep in mind, there was a lot of things added, a lot of things modified, a lot of key important texts removed. So no, the Bible is not authentic. You're going to need the guidance of the Spirit of the Most High to guide you to what you need to know, what you need to learn from there, and what you need to leave behind. So should you abandon your Yoruba culture and stop? No, no, my dear, no, my dear princess, do not abandon it. You know, you will connect to your God through your ancestors. No, no, no. Tatan Zambe said he will restore his kingdom on earth, and it's just going ha to happen as planned by Tatan Zambe, describing the book of Acts. It's not that Jesus himself or another Jesus is going to come. It's us, the body of Christ, us, the members of these 12 kingdoms, these 12 original kingdoms. We are the one who will heal. We are the one who will awaken to who we are, which many of you are doing. Bravo, my lovelies. Okay. And uh, to come back, you have to keep in mind that these books were designed to confuse and mess up our collective consciousness as to who we are you know whatever you choose to do out there just know that these books whether bible torah quran they were put together to mess up our collective consciousness and what constitutes our collective consciousness the consciousness of our ancestors you know so for us the living we have to seek to connect to that consciousness just for us to be whole 
okay, for us to be whole as a people. Okay, my lovely uh, Rachel, no, no, stay with your Yoruba people. Okay, connect with them. You know, for those of you who have already identified your tribe, go back to your spirituality, trust your ancestors. I mean, they were savages and stuff, but savages who had and built things that European needed for their survival can be that, that big of savages, if you ask me. These were kings and tees, monkosi, bosses, like there is no more around. <laughs> Wow! 